Welcome everybody. So today we're going to talk about your next epic summer. For those of you who know all about summer camp and our Camp America experience, you know that it's going to be 9 to 11 weeks of absolutely action-packed adventure, sports fun, sun and a hell of a lot of lots and lots of fun. So um, tonight we're going to kick off with our Camp America program. Um, to tell you all about it, um, we're going to discuss all the requirements, uh, we're going to discuss the whole process. So if I can ask you all to just keep yourself muted through the, through the program, <clears throat> and then we'll leave it up to you guys for some questions at the end. All right, so moving along, let's start off with how you are eligible. So in order to qualify for camp, we are looking for males and females aged 18 through to 30 who are young, energetic, funky, vibey, that maybe you have some outdoor skills, uh, maybe some water sports skills, um, but just anybody with a load of energy. Um, your days are going to be action packed. You're going to start early. You're going to work late. Um, it's really going to be lots of fun. So we need you to be fit and healthy. We need you to have a great attitude. Um, and of course, obviously, love children. Camps are full of children aged between the ages of about 5 to about 16, 17. So your days are really going to be juggling uh, loads and loads of kitties. So um, lots and lots of fun. Make sure that you are obviously ready for that adventure. So um, South African passport, obviously, you need to have a passport ready in around about February, March. Uh, that's when we start doing all the visas. So applications are actually open right now, um, and you can make an application now, <coughs> get placed with a camp, and then you will leave sometime between May and June of 20 next year type of thing, so 2019. We have... Um, Obviously, looking we're looking for people and needing people with skills such as lifeguards. So we have lifeguard positions. We have horse ride instructors, tennis coaches, yoga instructors. Uh, maybe you play a musical instrument. Um, maybe you quite um, photographic or you've got a media background and that type of thing. All those types of skills are the kind of skills that you want to be able to present at your camp. Um, if you've got a, a sort of a... It doesn't have to be a formal childcare background. Maybe you've done some babysitting. Maybe you worked at a daycare. Maybe you have younger siblings. Um, whatever it might be, you can obviously count that as your childcare experience. But just a general great attitude um, towards childcare will really go a long way at camp. Um, you can be introverted. You can be, you know, right out there. You can be completely far out and, and confident. You can be the quietest soul. And somehow camp will just take that absolute energy out of you. And it will really teach you a lot about yourself um, and a lot about, um, you know, different cultures and that type of thing. So camp is really one of those unique short-term but absolutely lifelong uh, changing programs. So at camp, you get two types of camp counselors. We get a general camp counselor, and then of course you get a specialist counselor. So if you're that kind of person, maybe you're just finishing school or um, university, or maybe you just want something different in life, kind of the all-rounder, um, maybe you don't really stand out too well in terms of a specific skill, um, but you really, really enjoy just moving around, being active and that sort of thing, then a general camp council probably fit your role um, and your, your personality. So you'll get up really early. Um, when it comes to looking after the kids, you will sleep in the cabins with them. You will make sure that they're up in the morning, that they get dressed for the day, brush their teeth, and then head off to the breakfast um, that they've all eaten. Um, from your breakfast, you'll go to your first activities. Now, most of the time at camp, um, the kids get to choose the kinds of activities that they want to sign up for in the summer. Maybe they want to learn some more skills. Maybe they just have a preference to what they like to do in their spare time. And then other camps can just be like whatever goes. So if you're signing up for a particular skill and you're in charge of a, a little troop of kids, so anywhere between five and ten other camp counselors, then what you will do is you will take them from activity to activity through the morning. Um, obviously, summer, it's going to be hot, it's going to be sunny, um, the kids are going to get tired, so there's a lot of swim time involved so that they can obviously relax and cool down. Um, so swimming obviously is a nice skill to have um, and being confident around the water. In terms of the um, activities, they really range. Um, the activities we'll get onto 
<laughs> in a sec, but basically throughout the day, you'll go from activity to activity, then you'll do lunch, then you'll do afternoon activities, then obviously it's um, time for dinner, bath time, that type of thing, um, and then getting them into their cab cabins at night. So you will also spend the evenings in the cabins with the kids. So lots of fun. Um, accommodation is really basic. It can be anything from a really cool wigwam tent. It can be a log cabin. It can be um, like those caravan -y type uh, stilted houses. Um, so it's very basic, but it's really cool. Um, lots of kids, lots of clothes, lots of stuff that they bring to camp to make it feel like home. So it's super busy in the in the accommodation area. Um, there'll also be like chill zones where the camp um, counselors can get together and just get away from the kids for a bit and all hang out together, maybe play some games, just, you know, shoot the breeze, however it goes. Um, but there's lots of different zones at camp, make it really fun for you. Um, you will work really hard. You'll work um, not Monday to Friday, not eight to five. You're literally working Monday to Sunday, depending on your camp. Um, and over the summer of nine to 11 weeks, you'll usually get off anywhere from six to seven days um, during, the, during the time that you're there. Um, if you look at a specialist counselor, those are the guys who are really, really outstanding at a skill. So maybe you've been playing tennis your whole life, you've been coached, um, you've now moved on to being a tennis coach or a swim instructor. Um, maybe you are a lifeguard at the local pool or at the ocean or the lakeside or wherever and you're really, really good at that skill, you can then go and um, then obviously specialize in that skill at camp. So for example, if you know how to play archery, you will arrive at camp, you'll set up that skill, you'll run that skill, you'll maintain the equipment, um, you'll do all the safety regulations, you'll teach the kids how to do archery. Um, if you are involved in horse riding, you'll obviously look after the horses, you'll feed the horses, um, and you'll basically look after them the whole summer with the activities. Um, maybe you are into motorbike riding, um, so you'll obviously be in control of maintaining the bikes, making sure that the kids are safe, um, following all the rules and regulations. So quite a different role to a general camp counselor, a um, bit more specialized. Um, and the cool thing about the specialist counselors is that they are usually given some time off in the evening. So when the kids go to bed, you'll go to your own cabins where you stay with other camp counselors. Um, so you get a bit of time off from the madness of camp. All the camp counselors um, obviously are expected to help each other. So you sometimes have a co-counselor where there's two of you in charge of a group of, of kids um, just to help out with the madness. Um, you know, so each camp is different. Uh, there are rules and regulations on camp. So you've got to follow all of those. Safety of the kids is very important. But um, day in the life of a camp counselor can be really, really hectic um, over a summer period. So who are we looking for? Obviously, skills that stand out are things such as your tennis instructors, water sports. Literally, that could be kayaking, canoeing. It could be jet skiing, maybe um, dry, uh, riding um, uh, motorized sports equipment. So jet skis and boats um, and the skis and the slaloms and that type of thing. It could just be normal lifeguarding. Um, also, they'll obviously have those big bouncing um, floating rafts and equipment and things like that. Um, there's a lot of boats um, and there's a lot of um, windsurfing type, um, oh, sorry, wind sailing type of um, equipment. Um, so lots and lots of water sports. Most of the camps are situated on lakes. So you have absolutely beautiful settings um, and you literally just spend your, your life on the waterfront throughout your camp. Some camps have gym studios and yoga studios and massive fitness uh, setups um, where the kids can learn all the gymnastic moves and that sort of thing. Archery is hell of a popular at camp. Um, there's also high-low ropes. Um, if you know how to abseil, if you know how to harness and climb through obstacles and that type of thing, that's really important um, at camp. Your ATVs and, and, and being off the road and the motorized sports. Um, and then just general hiking, biking, orienteering, um, using a map, how to make a fire, how to cook on fire. Um, what else? Um, there's even things like science camp. Um, so you'll have your 
rocketry and your science experiments and um, you know computer equipment and that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of camps that involve music. So if you play musical instruments, that's a really cool skill to have. Maybe they put on a lot of productions. Uh, one thing about camp, which will really come out, no matter how cool you are, guys or girls, by the end of camp, you will be dancing to Disney music and you will be singing along and it'll be all good fun. Um, and you'll look back at it and think that was just absolutely awesome. So um, those are the kinds of skills um, generally you should have. And please remember, it is camp. It's going to be remote. You are going to be literally sitting around the campfire at night. Um, you're going to be telling stories. You're going to be um, in the bush. So there's going to be safety such as bears and bugs and all that kind of thing. You have to be careful um, and you've got to make sure that you follow the rules and regulations so that nothing happens whilst you're at camp. Um, there's different types of camps. Um, so every applicant is submitted to a private or a day camp. Um, private camps tend to be those that have passed down from generation to generation in terms of family. Um, maybe the grandfather used to have it and then his son grew up at camp and he's not passed it on. And then his son grew up at camp and now he's running the camp. Um, so camp is a massive American tradition and you'll find it going through every um, kid that all they want to do in summer is go to camp. So these private camps are tend to be uh, your little bit more affluent camps. They tend to have a little bit more fancy facilities um, and uh, very unique traditions. Uh, maybe there's like competitions between neighboring camps. They maybe have a camp uniform or not a uniform, but like cool t-shirts and cool caps and matching stuff just with branding of the camp on as well, because it's quite traditional. Um, and then you get the day camps. Now, day camp means that um, the kids arrive generally in the morning between six and eight, um, and they leave between four and six at night, um, usually the later of the hours. Um, but they literally come for the day. Um, they have lots of fun. And then they head back home to where they come from. They normally live in the neighboring town. Um, and kids don't come one day and that's it for the whole summer. They'll come for a couple of days throughout the summer, either a continuous week or broken up over days, depends on their parents. Um, and your private camps are the ones where the kids tend to come from anywhere from five weeks, seven weeks, up to nine weeks. Um, and kids as young as five years, all the way up to 16, are staying at camp for that whole long, long period of time. So you're going to have some sad days and some good days and that type of thing. And you're going to have to help the kids when they miss home and that sort of thing. But it's really all about having fun and, and making sure that they're having a good time. Um Single sex camps and, um, you know, your, your male, female and your Girl Scouts and that type of thing, that's all just got to do with the male, female camaraderie. Um, it means that all the kids at camp are either girls or boys. Um, they tend to be very um, sport driven when it comes to a boys camp. Um, so that's a really cool environment. Um, guys can work at a, or girls can work at a guys only camp whereas um, guys can't work at a girls only camp. So you might be a camp counselor and you might be placed at a girls uh, at a, a you know girl and be placed at a boys camp and that's absolutely fine. Um, Christian and religious and Jewish and that type of thing, every camp has an element of religion in it. Um, it's important for the kids. Um, sometimes there is a church or a religious area where they can celebrate and uh, do their religious practices. Um, if it's not for you, that's not a problem. <clears throat> you won't have to be super involved, but it is just a camp tradition that there is an element of religion in most camps. So just be aware of that. Um, if you are very religious and you'd like to and feel comfortable practicing your religion very often, you can choose a Christian camp um, or something different like a Jewish camp and just go and experience a new new religion and a new culture. We also have the category of special needs and underprivileged. So your special needs will be a host and range of children, which could be your youngsters, five or six, all the way up to adults. So anywhere from 40 to 50 years old that will be at camp. A little bit different. Um, obviously, you have to, you don't have to have like hectic training and skills, but you have to be 
very independent and very ready for that experience. At a special needs camp, you could have mentally and physically challenged applicants or camp, uh, you know, attendees and that type of thing. Um, so you really need to have that unique patience to deal with their um, situation and what is not wrong with them, but but what um, troubles they have. Um, sometimes you may have to assist with medication, bath times, feeding times, um, and all that sort of thing. So very, um, very different and just make sure that you are ready for that experience. Um, and then of course our underprivileged are like our YMCAs and um, community run camps where they normally reach out to the um, less privileged uh, maybe it's inner city people that have never actually, or little kitties that have never climbed a tree. They've actually never played on a field of grass. Um, they've never been in the outdoors before. So it's a hell of an experience to come to camp and really just see what it's all about. So you will get to pick on your application whether you'd like to go to any of the camps besides the private and the day camp. So private and day camp is for everybody. And then the other ones are choice camps, if you'd like to and have the ability. All right. And then moving on, obviously camp, um, nine to 11 weeks, free housing, free meals, loads and loads of food. Um, at camp, you'll get your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you will also, as I say, get accommodation at no charge to yourself. So when it comes to housing, as I say, it's very basic. Please be aware that you will share with other females or other males. Um, you'll share bathrooms. Um, you'll share bedrooms, if you want to call it that. Um, but everything is very shared. So privacy is important, but you're going to have five or ten kids in your bunk with you. So it's going to be quite hectic. Um, meals, lots and lots of food. Uh, rules on camp generally is that no food in, in cabins um, just because it attracts the bugs and the bears. So little tricks you'll learn along the way. And then obviously really fantastic summer location. So this is a view from one of the camps um, on the water, just looking out into their waterfront. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, I've actually been to a couple of camps myself and had the opportunity to just breathe it all in and, and feel the energy and the vibe and see the kids and the counselors in action. It really is an amazing experience. Um, and then at the end of camp, you will get a completion stipend. So every camp counselor will earn different amounts based on their age. They will also earn different amounts based on um, the camp type they're at, as well as the camp package in terms of costing that you take up front. All right, further benefits to the program. You will receive um, a J-1 visa. So now your J-1 visa sponsorship means that you are legally allowed to live and work in the United States. Um, every camp counselor will go on a J-1 visa, regardless of your passport type. You will then have your work period, which will be from the start day of camp to the end day of camp. And then you'll have 30 days to travel thereafter. So really awesome opportunity to take your camp stipend, travel if you want to, come straight home if you want to. Um, at the end of camp, you will earn anywhere from $750 up to about $1,900. So that stipend that you earn is then used by our counselors to go and travel in the US. Some people travel for four days. Some people stay for the full month. It depends on if you have family and friends in the US. You don't need to decide if you want to travel on day one. It's up to you. Um, you can obviously travel to your to to um, you know your camp, go do your summer, and then come straight home. Or what you can do is go and meet other camp counselors at camp. Um, there'll obviously be counselors from the UK, from Europe. Um, there'll be a lot from Australia, New Zealand. Um, a lot of other um, camp counselors from, from South Africa. So it's a great opportunity to meet people. And then what the counselors tend to do is they then plan like a week road trip here or a month there or whatever it might be. Um, and then they obviously go out and they explore a bit of the US and then they come home. Medical insurance is provided. Um, and then if you don't want to travel afterwards, you can travel in those five or six days that you get off during camp. Um, any 
work experience overseas is always a fantastic opportunity to brand your resume. Um, being able to say, I've lived and worked in America. Uh, yes, there was a camp, but look at me. I'm 18 years old. I've lived away from home. I'm 23. I'm 24. I'm whatever. And I'm now coming back with these skills, and these cultures and these different things that I've learned um, from, from my experience of being overseas. The camps that we have are all screened. So you will be in an environment where you know you're going to be safe. So you will have a 24-7 um, support line. Camp America is available. And if you're on any emergency, you'll be able to just pick up the phone and give them a ring and say, I'm in trouble. I need help. I'm stuck at camp. Um, something's come up at home. Um, I've fallen and broken my leg. What do I do? So that type of support is very important when you're on program. And then, of course, you obviously will meet other local Americans and all our international staff on program. So OVC's role in this whole experience, um, where you're clearly going to act, as you can see in our wonderful picture, very much like an adult all summer, um, is to basically support you through the whole process. You are going to go over and you're going to need to be um, you know, going over the process, you're going to be needing to uh, complete an application online. You're going to need to do your visa. You're going to need to go to the embassy and attend an interview. We're going to have to book you flights um, and all those things and what to pack and when to be where and how to get from the airport to camp. And once you're at camp, what happens? And if you have an emergency, what happens? And when you want to travel afterwards, how do you do that? And how do you get back to South Africa? That's what we're here for. It's to make it hassle-free and to really make it the best experience that you could possibly have. And of course, we always want to hear from you. So this year, we were lucky enough to go to camp and we visited many of our camp counselors um, who were having an absolutely epic summer. Um, if you want to hear more about their experiences, we've got video footage of them. We've got photos. We've got testimonials on our website, our Facebook page, Instagram. Have a look through it. See what you think. Um, and really just get a good feel for yourself. Um, it's always good to do your own research and know what you're getting into over and above what we can tell you. Um, so yeah, those are just some of our pictures of our camp counselors that um, I got to meet uh, this up and coming summer. Some of them are first timers. Um, some of them have been there for five, six years. So um, quite a mix of, of people. Moving along to the cost of the program, um, before we wrap up, the program has two different options. The first option is a flight package inclusive option. This is going to cost you roughly 20,000 Rand. And then we also have our I will pay all my own flights option. And that's when your package is generally roughly about 30,000 Rand. Obviously, some of the costs are in dollars. So the exchange rate does affect the rates and the cost of the program. But an absolutely full breakdown is available at your OVC office. So you'll pay an application, a placement, a visa, airline tickets, yes or no. Um, you'll also get your travel insurance. And then obviously, most importantly, some spending money to take with you. So pretty much all I can say is this is an absolutely epic program. It is going to be the best nine to 11 weeks of your life. And I'm going to leave you with a question of where will you be for the Camp America 2019 season? So thanks for joining us. I hope you've really learned a lot about this epic experience. Um, it is going to be the most amazing summer. So hopefully we'll see you soon.